Gatwick Airport, a flight has just arrived from Antigua. One female passenger from the flight has raised suspicion. After passing through immigration, she was seen changing her clothes in the toilets. So UK Border Agency officer George has stopped her for questioning. When talking to her in the channels, she actually said that it's because she had a long journey and she had some soggy clothes which she needed to change out of. It's a suspicious activity. Normally people would just wait. When she went upstairs, I noticed that she had a carry-on holder, which sometimes they can actually sneak drugs through their holders. The hold all and its contents are taken away to be x-rayed. Officers will be looking for any hidden concealment. The hold all gets the all clear, but the woman's laptop looks decidedly suspicious. On the x-ray, it's sort of uneven. As it goes and it shows that there may be something inside. Yeah. With concerns there may be drugs hidden in the laptop, it's taken away to a workshop to be properly assessed. Hey, okay, what's happened? Image? Yeah, we've got clearer image and it shows. It may seem brutal, but the only way to find out if it does contain anything illegal is to break it open. It looks like their hunch was right. Officers discover a package they suspect to be drugs stuffed inside the laptop. A simple test will be able to confirm their suspicion. All he's doing now is splitting it to take a small sample, which we can test on this cocaine reagent here, so which will give us an indication as to what type of drug it is. The reagent will turn blue if the substance is cocaine. It is there. With a positive identification for cocaine, the news is now broken to the woman. With the game now well and truly up, the woman's attitude begins to change. This is for Hillary. <laughs> she may be laughing now, but all that awaits her is an empty cell. Officers stay with the woman while her belongings are checked in, and she's informed of her rights. Okay. I just need you to smile that top line for me, please. Meanwhile, George inspects the cocaine concealment further. There's a lot of work which has gone into this. This would be actually considered a deep concealment. For a rudimentary way of trying to, I suppose, disguise it from an X-ray was by covering it in foil. But, um, Obviously, it hasn't worked. Right, just want to take the food off and put them here. As the woman is checked into her cell, she starts to vent her frustration. And if you do need us, just listen to me. Just listen to me. Let us know if you need anything else. Would you like to see the part of the blood with the film, right? You want to see that part? She's getting a bit upset now. When she was stopped, even when the whole her computer was being x-rayed, she was quite calm. But everyone's different. Everyone reacts in different ways, so there, there is no way you can spot a drug smuggler, is it? They come in all shapes and sizes. One thing left to find out is the weight of the drugs. So that's coming in at around about 530 grams. So depending on its purity, it could actually be quite substantial. With an estimated value of £25,000, it's been a very successful day for the officers. Less so for the woman, who will have plenty of time to contemplate her actions. At Birmingham Airport, a flight has just come in from Gran Canaria, and Officer Mike is scanning suitcases for excessive quantities of cigarettes. Having found a large quantity of cigarettes on the X-ray, Mike will be keen to ask the owner of the suitcases a few questions. 
A man in shorts and a blue jumper collects one of the bags from the luggage carousel. Mike steps in to intercept him. Hello there, guys. Just step over this way a second. Just come over to the bench for me. Can we look at your passports, please? Not travelling with anyone else? Sorry, not travelling with anyone else, no. Just been a family holiday, is it? Yeah, how long have you been away? For days. Yeah. Where to? Grand Okay. Whose name was it booked in? Who actually did the booking? I thought you said you weren't with anyone else. Three of us. I didn't even know that. Oh, right. So you'll you so be travelling with these people, yeah? Yeah, when you right. said two adults. Well, no, and I'll just say, have you travelled with anyone else and you said no? Oh, yeah. That's not a problem, OK. Yeah, you know what, you can't bring in drugs, guns, knives, weapons, a decent thing to stuff like that. Yeah, OK. Uh, you wear the cigarette restrictions from Gran Canaria. I can, I can tell by the face. <laughs> OK, not sure. OK, something you want to tell me? Yes. Cigarettes? OK, how many have we got? You don't know. Do, do you know how many you're allowed to have? No, 200, one sleeve, one packet. Have we gone bust? 200 sleeves, I think so. 200 sleeves? <laughs> OK, I guess we better have a look then, eh? The man confesses to being back. way over his allowance. Who are they for? Yeah. Uh, fair enough, I appreciate your honesty, mate. First time you've been caught? First time you've been caught? First time you've done it? <laughs> Last time was what? First time or not, it's going to be an expensive lesson. Oh, dear me. With three suitcases stuffed to the brim, the man could feasibly be arrested. The man's friend who booked the tickets is also carrying three suitcases full of cigarettes. You have 36,000. Rather impressive, 35,600 over the limit, because obviously the baby's not entitled to any. <laughs> She's not yet 17. <laughs> With the man's friend also carrying a further 36,000, yes. the total haul is just under the amount where they would have been arrested. That one is a warning letter. Now, obviously, as you know, you sailed very close to the wind this time. And there is no other sanction than seizure. OK, there's no fine, there's no penalty, there's nothing else. Uh, the warning letter is there to say... Don't do it again. Don't do it again, because next time it may be more serious, OK? Yeah. It's a lucky escape for the two men, whose audacious attempt at smuggling cheap cigarettes would have netted them a profit of over £2,000 each. Quite happy to do some checks on the, uh, the people involved in both parties, and myself and my colleague were, were happy that they were first-time offenders from a customer's point of view. Um, the need is to say that, that will be, the records will be maintained on them and should they try and make another attempt, more punitive action may well be taken.